Hey, as always, thanks for stopping by. I'm your eye gadget lady, and I do the research so you don't have to. And as always, I want to give it to you straight with honest iPad and iPhone accessory reviews and also uh, how-tos as well. So keep coming by. I'm going to try to bring you new stuff every week. So do me a favor, and if this helps you out, hit that subscribe button and that like button. Definitely would appreciate it. Today, I'm going to show you how to use guided access on your iPhone or your iPad. And this will give you parental control. Or in other words, you can basically child-proof your uh, iPad or iPhone. That's so that you can prevent uh, your child from doing things on your iPhone that you don't want them to when they're supposed to be maybe playing a game or watching a movie or something. So it's going to uh, limit their ability to get out of that app so they can't, you know, explore your photos <laughs> or even download some other uh, games or something like that in the app store. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do this. First, we're going to go into our settings app. So click on settings, then you're going to hit general. After you hit general, what you want to do is scroll down to accessibility. Click that. Now we're going to scroll all the way down until we see guided access. Let's keep going. There we go. So guided access. Now, according to uh, your iPhone and iPad description, it's going to tell you that guided access keeps the iPhone in a single app and allows you to control which features are available. Now, to start the guided access, you're going to triple click the home button once you're in the app or the movie that you want to use. So first, let's go ahead and turn this on. Now, we can do a couple of things here. First, we can set up a passcode, and that passcode hopefully is only known to you. You don't want to give this to the child using the uh, iPad or iPhone. So we can set up a passcode here. And for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to do 000. 000, 000. Okay. And a Touch ID, I've also turned that on as well. So if I don't want to use the passcode, I can hit Touch ID as well. So now we'll go back. One of the other things you can do is set time limits on this. Now this will give us uh, a few options when it comes to the time limits. We can sound an alarm if we want to, and, or we can have uh, guided access speak a sound or something before it ends. I'm not gonna do that right now. Let's see, maybe I will do a sound. How about we'll do complete? Okay, so now that we've got that all set up, let's come out of settings. We're going to go to a game. Say, for instance, child wants to play Candy Crush. So what we're going to do from this point is triple click the home button. Now it says guided access started. So at this point, the only thing that the child can do, no matter what they do, is play that game. I'm going to click on the home button just one time right now. So I'll click on the home button and see what it says. At the top there, it says guided access is enabled. Triple click that home button in order to disable this. So once they triple click the home button, it's going to ask you to enter that passcode. The only way they get out is entering that passcode. And it's really that simple. The only thing you have to do is uh, set that up just as I've shared with you. If you like this, go ahead and use it. It's going to definitely give you freedom uh, of mind and uh, let you know that once you hand over that phone to that child, they're doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing. So it's going to definitely help you have better control. Please share this video. Please share it with other parents, grandparents, aunts and uncles, anyone who uh, is watching a child. This will definitely uh, limit what they're able to do on that iPhone. So they're using that iPhone for good. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. If you could please help me out, 
hit that like button down there and hit that subscribe button because as I said, I'm gonna keep coming back with more and more videos for you. I try to give you honest reviews, not biased reviews based upon someone sending me something free. And I also uh, like to uh, give you a lot of how-tos because there's a lot you can do with the iPhone. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Now, one other thing to make note of is that you do have options once you set this. So let's triple click. Now you see uh, at the bottom, in the bottom left-hand corner, we've got the options and we can click this before we hit the start button. This will allow us to adjust different things that we're gonna allow the child access to or whoever we hand our iPhone over to. So you can, um, control the sleep-wake button, whether you want them to have control of that, uh, volume buttons, motion, whether you want them to be able to access keyboards or touch. And then also you can set a time limit as well. So say for instance, they're watching a movie and you're gonna give that movie two hours, 30 minutes. Now once two hours, 30 minutes is up, they, they have no access to the iPhone. They're gonna have to enter that code in. So this is a great option uh, I wanted to let you know about.